Thanks for tuning in to the TCDSB Assistive Technology Teams video series on Google Slides for secondary students. In this video, we're going to focus on adding slides, changing the layout of slides, how to delete slides, and some shortcuts. And as always, we want to make sure that we are logged in to the TCDSB Google Chrome account. And I know I've done this correctly because I can see my student icon in the top right corner of my Chrome browser, as well as on the main page. Let's get started. So here you can see I have a blank Google Slides presentation and I'm looking to add more slides. So there's a few ways to do that. You can go through the insert menu at the top and you can scroll down to the bottom and select new slide. So when you click that, you'll see that you will get just a generic slide uh, added to your presentation. Another way and an easier way to do this is to use this handy toolbar. So in the top left corner, you'll see a plus icon. And here, if we were to just click new slide, you'll hover and see that it will give you an instruction of what it does, as well as a keyboard shortcut. So you can click plus and it will again, just add your standard slide with a title, an area for title and area for text. However, sometimes I want a different slide to add to my presentation a different layout. And I can do that by, again, selecting the same icon, but instead of clicking the plus, I'm going to click the drop down. So in the drop down, you have an option to add a whole bunch of different slides. So you can add another title slide, you can add a section header, a title and body. So this one is often used for when you have a lot of content, which you don't want to put too much content on here because it is just a presentation. Um, title and two columns, title only one column and text. So this is a great one if you have an image or a video and a description on the side. If you have a main point that's really important that you want to share, a section title and description, this is a great layout for dividing up your presentation in different sections. There is one with just a caption at the bottom. If there's a statistic that you'd want to share, the big number one is great, or you can also include a blank slide. So just to show you, let's click a couple different slides. And we're going to insert a few different slides. So here you can see I now have six slides in my presentation. If for whatever reason I don't like the order that the slide is in, I can simply click on the slide that I want to move and drag it to the location I want. So again, if I want to move this slide to the third position, I can just click and drag and you can see that it easily moves. The other thing is that if I decide that I don't like this layout for this particular slide, I don't have to delete it or re-add a new slide. I can simply change the layout. So the way to do that is I can select the slide and in again in this top toolbar, if I select the layout, I can again, I can see all the slide layouts that I have available to me. So perhaps I want to change this slide to this one. And again, I cannot do that for any slide. I can change the layout of my slide, depending on what I want. If there is a slide that I do not want, I can simply select the slide and hit delete on my keyboard and it is gone. Again, if you make a mistake and delete the wrong slide and you want to um, undo, then you can select this undo feature. So like an arrow pointing to the left, or you can use a shortcut key or you can select edit and undo. So you can see that that fourth slide is back in my presentation um, because maybe I made a mistake and I didn't want to delete it. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned how to add, delete, change the layout and rearrange the slides in your Google Slides presentation. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series. Thanks for watching.